give everybody a minute or two to get on here. I'm just going to do a real quick video. I was sitting here thinking a few minutes ago, and uh, a lot of the y'all people that fish a whole, whole lot probably do this, but there's a lot of them on this board that uh, kind of just getting started out, and this is a pretty good tip uh, because a lot of the people that um, are just starting out do a whole lot of anchor fishing in current. So this right here is a really, uh, is, it's almost a must. Um, especially when you're trying, you're just starting and you're um, trying to target these trophy catfish. I'll show y'all now, there's a few people on. I'll show you what I do. Um, you can see, I got, a, I got rods, I got five rods out right now. And I'm, you can tell I'm anchored up in some crazy current. Um, what's gonna happen is if you hook a big one right here, it's going to be uh it's going to be tricky to get him in uh, especially if it's a real good one um you can see the current like i said the current's getting it i'm up here pretty close to the dams but here's here's the the key uh and a lot of y'all don't even have trolling motors and stuff which is fine but this is a good tip right here that i keep you from losing a, a big nice fish got one getting ready to take that rod right there down but here, here's your tip when you're anchor fishing like this if you hook a great big fish odds are it's you you may get him in but your chances are going to be so much better to get off an anchor so here's what you do uh, my anchor rope's going out it's probably uh, that I got about a hundred foot of line here so it's toward the end so if a great big fish hits one of them poles right now and starts ripping drag, the first thing that I'm going to do is, is make sure he's hooked good. Always tie your flotation device on the end of your rope right here. Whether it be a big milk jug, uh, a bumper, a bumper pad, whatever you want to call it, whatever you put, you want to make sure to float. So if a great big fish hits one of them rods, uh, I, I'm going to have plenty of time um, to hook him and reel those other rods in come up here grab this rope unturn it a couple times and throw that out what that's going to do is enable your boat to go back with with the fish and go after the fish versus pulling the fish in this current it's a pretty good tip for you um like i say i don't i don't know everything i don't know much at all really but i do know uh you want to uh you want to think ahead and be prepared to catch that big old fish uh so if he hits right now um like i say i'm gonna have time i'm gonna tighten my drag up just a little bit um so he does hook himself then go up here and throw this bumper out go back with the fish so uh that's you a pretty good tip um also a time or two i've been up here and they've opened the gates pretty quick I hadn't had time to reel all my stuff in so I threw that thing uh, around and I threw it out a time or two to get all our stuff in and then you can always come back and get your anchor. That's also a good tip like in the Green River or something. Um, if a barge is coming around a corner or something and you don't have time to pull your anchor, always always have something tied on the end of that. That way um, you can just throw it out and come back and get it. it it'll be floating. That, that big... Um, big jug or something to act like a float and uh, to keep at the end of your line also when you come back you can just tie right back up off to it so that's a uh, that's a pretty good tip um, always when you're fishing these dams it's always dangerous uh, it's even more so dangerous in the winter time um, when you get set up always think ahead before you start pulling your anchor Make sure that motor start, have that motor running. Um, always in the wintertime, have your anchor with you. That way, if, you, if something, you break down or something, you can hunker over or near the bank or something and throw your anchor out and, and stay still versus um, just going with the water. Because most of the time in the wintertime, there is going to be some current. So um, fishing these dams, again, you can see I'm not, uh, I'm not too far away from them. And you can see the water coming out of there. And a lot of times, um, some of you people that don't fish these dams a lot, when you get up there closer, 
Uh, if your boat stuff breaks down, it's not actually, most of the time, it's not going to push you against the current. It's going to start pulling you to the dam. So always, um, my life jacket's right here on the back of my seat. It's where I keep it. I know it's, uh, it's a whole lot better than in my floor. Um, I'm not the smartest of people by no means, but uh, I have learned uh, to... to um, to to look ahead and and try to be a couple steps ahead a case a uh, you know what if scenarios you can play them in your mind um i sit out here and talk to myself all the time anyway so uh you can uh think of of, of uh what what you would do if something happens because uh you want to be prepared that's probably the biggest key also today fishing without my fish finder <laughs> that is different I appreciate y'all tuning in. If I catch a good one here, I'll go live here in a little bit. Um, God bless you. Have a good day.